Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the other day I did some videos on making these vent patterns and some young lady said she was really intrigued and having fun doing it, but I did it with circles. She wanted to know if you could do it with squares. And I apologize if I used the Control D button too much in that video because the easiest way would be to probably contour it. You can Control D it and actually make them even to an extent, I'm gonna control D and, and then I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna grow this from the corner. And then I'm gonna control D again and just keep holding down the control and hitting your D to make control D. Now that's gonna take a little bit of time and a lot of computers uh, might bog down and, and not, might be able to uh, keep up with it. And so you kinda of gotta go slow and so the other way to do it would be to contour them. So let's get that original square back. Grab on that square, go up to effects, contour, and let's contour to the outside. Let's say 0.125. Well, that's going to be too big because this thing is really little. Uh, 0.01, uh, 25 times. See, it did the same thing. That's still not enough. Let's go, let's make it a little bit 0 0.02, 50 times. Now, the only thing you need to keep in mind, let's, you know what, to make it for the video, let's make it 0 0.05 times 25. Now, it kind of blends in the colors. And that's still too big, but that's fine. Then you need to go to object and convert, break contour part and then you can make them all black or all red, whatever you wanted. And I've taken this shape out of this shape, and if you remember that shape kind of last time, and I kind of figured out something here to actually make it better and have less double lines. Go and take your Smart Fill tool and fill in these two spots. And then when you do this, you won't even have that spot in there and then move your contour to about the center of that thing. I was really hoping to get some angles. Let's do like right there and let's grab it all and let's use the intersect tool. Wow, that didn't work. Oh. I guess I need to ungroup them. Let's try it now. Nope. What is going on here? And I moved that manually. You don't ever want to move that. Let's put it back. Let me get that piece back. And let's group these together. You know what? I'll probably have to convert them to curves. Then let's take that and move it over. You know what? I'm going to make this quite a bit smaller. So I get some more curve in there. And let's say that's good enough and then hit both of them and intersect and there we go. Now to get rid of some of those double lines is to have your nudge distance still on two inches. And I'm not saying this is a good example, but we're gonna do that line and nudge it over. Nudge it over. So I'm doing every other line or trying to and Let's see, that's every line. So yes, you can use uh, squares or whatever you want to do. Uh, that's not halfway of a bad pattern, kind of unique. But if you see now, when you add that other pattern, you might have less double lines because now you can left click and right click and have that pattern. So yes, you can use squares. Uh, the duplicate tool works. Contour tool works too. And just depend on what your fancy is. And that did help get rid of this double line. So then when you do this part, you can see it just moves right back up in there. And you can left click, right click it. Let's just do one real quick. Take these. You know what, let's get that out of the way. Let's kind of go to the center. 
let's use the intersect tool and move that up. See, now you're going to have totally different looking lines. And then move that up and use your smart fill tool and nudge that down. So let's, and the box is still really too big, but let's just do that, that one, and that one. And then you could do that one. Whoop, we got a leak there. But you see what I'm getting at. You can use square and you can do anything you want to with it. You'd have to use all of that to make it look good. Let me just do a couple real quick. Bam, bam. And evidently I have a leak, something I did leaks. Anyway, but you get the idea. You can use square. You can use any shape. You know, you could use a triangle. You don't have to, uh, anything, polygon with three sides is a triangle. Just control D and make a duplicate. Hold down your shift key so it'll grow equal. And it really doesn't grow equal on a triangle because of that. And if we, we kind of prove that by uh, going C and E on your keyboard, something with a triangle um, is like a star. It's not weighted correctly. And you really, the only way to do that, and that's the old trick of, uh, let's just do it real quick. Let's do a four-sided polygon, control D, make a duplicate, expand it out, holding down the shift key. I didn't control D it. Then hold down the shift key and then convert them to three-sided. Is about the only way I've ever seen them make them equal. So you could do that. Now this would be definitely something you'd want to do on the contour tool. Then instead of doing that, just grab that and contour and get that same effect. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.